Okay, read aloud number two. We have Hippo and Rabbit in three short tales. Author is Jeff Mack. This is a Scholastic Reader, level one, 50 to 250 words. So we see Hippo and we see Rabbit. And let's find out what happens to Hippo and Rabbit. Again, please excuse my page turning because these books have been uh, brand new and barely used. So this is the first time. Okay, we have a table of contents. We've talked about table of contents where they've told you three pieces of information. First piece of information they told you is that this book is split up into one, two, three chapters. Chapter one is called Eat, and that starts on page three. Chapter two is called Swing, and that starts on page 13. Giving you time to say it before I do. And then chapter three, is called sleep and that starts on page 23. so let's go to chapter one eat good morning rabbit oh boy it's time for breakfast what are you having hippo a cheeseburger gross can't eat that for breakfast. Why not? It's not good for you, but I love cheeseburgers. Here, try this. A carrot? But it will make you big and strong like me. It will? What, does he look big and strong compared to Hippo? Mm -hmm. Sure. Have some lettuce too. It will make you super smart like me. Okay. Don't forget the tomato. Now you have a nice healthy salad. Thanks. Isn't that better? Yes, rabbit. Much better. Look what he did. He put all that stuff on the hamburger. What a crazy hippo. All right, chapter two, swing. Look, rabbit, a swing. Oh boy, I love swings. This swing won't start. It must be broken. Would you like a push? Okay, just don't push me too fast. But it's fun to go fast. Don't push me too high then. You'll love it. Oh, do you think that rabbit can push hippo like that? Maybe they should switch spots. I don't know. But I don't want to go flying off. That's the best part. <sighs> okay, are you ready? I think so. Hold on tight. Arr! Squeak. Squeak. There you go. That was cool. Did you see how fast I went? Did you see how high I went? I saw. I almost flew right off. My turn, Hippo. Uh-oh. <laughs> Are you ready? Ready. Oh boy, guys. Whee! End of chapter two. Doom, doom, doom. Chapter three, sleep. Rabbit? Yes, Hippo? I like these guys. They're good friends. Can I see 
or can I sleep in your bed tonight? Hippo, there's no room, but I'm scared. Be brave, try to sleep. Ooh, what's that? It's only the wind. Flash. Oh, look at there. We've got some pop out words, guys. Flash. What's that? Just some lightning. Please, can I sleep in your bed? There's no room, but I'm scared. There's nothing to be afraid of. Pop out word, here we go. Kaboom! Yikes! Thunder! Hippo? Yes, rabbit. I found some room for you. Really? For me? Yes, if you will help, if it will help you feel brave. Oh boy, I don't think Hippo needs help being brave. I think Rabbit needs help being brave. Thank you, Rabbit. What are friends for? Now I can sleep. Sweet dreams, Hippo. The end. All right, that was our read aloud for today. So remember, this was Hippo and Rabbit and Three Short Tales by Jeff Mack. All right, I'll be back tomorrow with our next read aloud.